What is going on guys? It's the Gamers Crew here and in today's YouTube video I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPDFR. First thing you want to make sure is that you have a clean install of Grand Theft Auto 5. Make sure it's not a pirated version. If it's a pirated version it will not work. At the moment I'm using the Steam version. Um, there is various other places you can actually buy Grand Theft Auto 4 and lower different prices but that's for another video anyway. So once you've got Grand Theft Auto 5 installed, you want to get head to Google Chrome or whatever your internet browser is and head to the link in the description. This will send you to this website, it will come up like this. And what you want to do is head over to downloads. Once you're in downloads, you'll come to this. Make sure you're on the GTA 5 Mods tab and then head over to LSPDFR. Once you're here, you want to just click on the actual mod itself you can read all this just make sure you've got um, the uh, let's find it <coughs> I'm done. yeah just make sure you've got the book um, there'll be a link here and you want to click it it'll take you over to this and all you want to do basically for some reason the site it freezes I don't know really. there we go I can move now um, you want to head over to downloads and you want to download the Rage, the Rage plugin book but make sure it's the most recent version there's two here I like these ones are all closed now but there's two here just make sure you always hit the one closest to downloads title here and click that I'll click it and I'll download it <coughs> and obviously once that's downloaded go ahead and download LSPDFR on this website you don't need to make an account you just agree and, and download and then you can d download an installer but I always like doing a manual install so I know what's downloading so what you want to do is head, hit download on that and then you actually just want to fill in the security check you want to do that hit download it will download straight away I'm not going to do that because I actually have wrong me right there so once you've done that just wanna uh, just move out there just wanna yeah just wanna leave them there for now uh, you should have the rage plugin book and LSPDFR install or manually install and next thing you want to do is go over and find your GTA 5. So to uh, programs x86 Steam Steam apps common and then here's all the games that you'll have on your computer from Steam. So what you want to do is head to Grand Theft Auto 5 and then you will now be in your main directory for GTA 5. I'm gonna to to go ahead and maximize that onto the left. Um, as you can see I've got almost everything already installed so I will show you how to do it but without me personally having to send it over and change if you like on So first thing you want to do is um, you want to get the Rage plugin. You want to copy all of that. Just make sure you don't copy the top one of all just, yeah. <laughs> you get all of that and you want to just put it over into the main directory and don't put it in any of these folders and then just confirm if it asks you to replace anything and after you've done that you just want to open LSPDFR you want to highlight all of these and then you just want to drag and drop that all into there and confirm and replace anything if need be um, but because it's already got Rage plugin hook stuff here what I've done after was actually open up Rage plugin again and then just copy and paste all that back in there again and replace everything. It, it doesn't replace things that from LSPDFR. It just makes oh no oh god I think I just put all that into there. Yeah. <laughs> um it doesn't replace anything, it just I just might want to make sure it's all updated to the latest range hook. So obviously I'm gonna use the latest range hook plugin source. So 
after you've done all that, make sure you start up your game, complete your first mission, which you should have already done by now if you're watching this video. And I will catch you in the game and I'll show you how to use it. Right, what's going on guys? Now we have loaded into the actual game. We wanna go ahead and just go to a, any PlayStation. I like going to this one because you've got interior and stuff. So just go ahead and go to any PlayStation. I'm I've got a trainer so I'm gonna just teleport there. It's quicker, it's easier. You can drive if, if you've got a trainer, use trainer. Uh so we're gonna play a teleport marker, there we go. Right, so everything just load up, which won't take too long. There we go. Everything's loaded. Uh, you actually want to go and sign on for duty. This just means going into here, pressing E. And I've got a few of the scripts and mods installed, so yeah. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm actually not going to use this. Um, I can't get out of it now. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, yeah, let's just use this character. Alright, we're on duty now. You should see some pop up messages. Uh, there's a new version available, but we've got a new version. We'll always show that. You are now on duty to police officer. Because I've got all the scripts and stuff installed, it will pop up on the side. And each time you install the script, it will pop up on the side to say it's loaded. So. This is the actual mod working. Let's go ahead and just pull someone over and I'll show you working. Uh, some of the actual options when I pull someone over will be. Um, you know what? Let's use the charger. Um, the will actually. You won't actually get all the options I do because these are all um, scripts that I've installed, so you get all different options. Let's just go ahead and. Uh, I don't know how I want to pull over. I want someone in a green light. And let's go there. Uh, let's pull over. Uh, Alright, let's pull over this guy. And you should just pull over. But because that's not a safe place, I'm actually going to use one of the mods I've got. And. we can make him pull over here I'm sorry if you can hear my son in the background <laughs> uh, alright now as you can see it's working I'm, I'm actually using my Xbox 360 controller to use this uh, you don't have to use Xbox 360 controller it just makes it easier I can ask for it. this is uh, one of the scripts I've got asking for um, question, like questioning the driver issue. Uh, yeah, there's. I think there's only usually about three options, but I've got these scripts. And if you guys want to know these scripts, make sure you head over to the comment section and just request them. And I'll do a video and I'll show you how to install all of them and so on. So yeah, this is the actual um, mod installed. And yeah. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, this is the Games Crew, and I will see you in the next video, peace.